So what is the difference between aeration and power raking? And how do you know when you need each service? So we're gonna put a link in the description down below on our aeration videos as well as a power rake video to tell you kind of the difference between the two of them. But this video is all about helping you decide when do you need to have one service versus another. So aeration is dealing with the compaction of the soil and we always recommend doing that at least once a year because that opens everything up and allows uh, deeper root growth, things like that. So aeration is dealing with the deep root system, whereas power raking is going to deal with the top of the root system. Now power raking is also known as dethatching. Power raking, dethatching are kind of synonymous with each other. So regardless of what a lawn looks like, I'm always gonna say aerate at least once a year. Now, how do you know if you need to do power raking? So power raking, uh, like I said, it's also known as dethatching. So at the top of the root system, you are gonna start seeing some buildup of some organic material. Usually it's, it's dead grass, different kind of things that can actually stay in our lawn. And once it gets to a certain point where it gets so thick, it'll start to choke out your lawn. And that can create some other problems and, and uh, make it so that it's harder for your grass to actually green up and stay green. So this lawn here has a little bit of thatch and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So there's a couple ways that you can, you can see. So if you just come down and you can see some of all this dead, this whole layer here is all a dead thatch. And that needs to come up and get out of this lawn so that we can expose the top of the root system. Once we get the top of the root system all exposed and it's cleaned out, then you can introduce fertilizers and things like that, uh, which will actually do good. So like I said, over time, if uh, the thatch starts to get so thick and it creates a thick membrane, it doesn't matter how much fertilizer you put on there, the fertilizer is just trapped in that, that membrane and it's not gonna get down and green up your lawn. So this is an example of what the thatch may look like. And, uh, I'll put a description again, like I said, for a power raking video that describes exactly what power raking is. But another way that you can check too, if you, just can't, if you can't see that kind of stuff in your lawn, another good thing to do is you could just take a, a rake and just kind of rake uh, vigorously right there uh, in one little area. If you start getting a bunch of uh, light brown, uh, kind of a tan color, almost looks like hay, and you start getting just a bunch of that stuff up out of your lawn, that's another indication that you need to have your lawn power raked. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I'll give you a demonstration of what the power rake will do in that little area, even though I've got another video that you can watch about the whole process. Uh, but this will at least give you an idea of what, what to expect when you do have to power rake. Um, just like aeration, I recommend that once a year. The power rake's a little bit different. Uh, some lawns just need it every year. It depends on the kind of grass that you have. Uh, but you kind of know what to watch for now. If you see that uh, start to build up that thatch, then it needs to be done. But typically speaking, if you have a basic uh, type of lawn, like with your Kentucky Blues, your rye, some fescues, things like uh, those type of grass seeds, typically those are only every two to three years of, of dethatching. So you don't have to do that near as frequently, but, uh, but that gives you an idea of how, how often to do those. But let's go ahead and I'll show you what this, uh, what this is gonna look like after we, we power rake this. So as you can see, it brings up a lot of stuff. One thing to note about power raking is uh, if it's well rooted, it's going to stay. If it's not well rooted, it will come up. But underneath all this, you'll see we've got all of the well-rooted good grass is still there. And now what we're able to do is we're able to see down into the actual root system, see the dirt there. And uh, so now once that's cleaned up, you'll be able to put fertilizer, any, uh, anything you wanna put on your lawn, any kind of lawn products, things like that. Uh, it's also a good idea to do before you uh, do any kind of insecticides, uh, bug treatments, fungicides, anything like that. So. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, leave us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next time.